Number one. I would say here, the, you know, because it is very student focused, right? It's always what can we do or how are we, um, how can we better serve students and helping them make those connections. And I think we're responsible for advising as faculty and that's pretty unique. At larger institutions, it's a whole nother wing or another section within the department. And so faculty and instructors here advise students as well as see them in the classroom. And so we really do develop relationships and get to know our students well. And I think those relationships between faculty and students are stronger here than what I've seen in other other institutions. And um, and that's great, and that's, that's why I'm here. I just, I wanted to get to know my students, and I love that I can still do the research, and I certainly still do the research, and I'm able to go to the conferences that I want to go to, but on a daily basis, I don't just sit, uh, sit in a desk and stare at a computer all day and run my Stata. I get to actually have interactions with students, and it's, I mean, they're hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Number two. My degrees are from large research institutions. On my national job search, I was drawn to Western Oregon University because they value both rigorous research and great teaching. I was so excited to find a space that really prioritizes the time that I wanted to spend becoming a good professor for my students. One of my current research projects here at WU is my take-home play bag research. It's something that I brought from my PhD studies. And as a new faculty member, I've been so pleased to receive a variety of supports from existing faculty and the dean and equipment in the College of Education to support my work, including introductions to community leaders in the field of early childhood by existing faculty, um, access to cutting-edge technology like Swivel for recording parent-child play interactions, and support via funding and time through course buyout to focus on the research that I'm most passionate about. Number three. The College of Education, COE, embraces diversity by bringing in people from diverse backgrounds, including the deaf and hard of hearing. Yeah, what's really exciting about the College of Education is that it's truly an area where faculty and staff are encouraged to practice innovative thinking in a safe space, where through the synthesis of ideas, creative solutions can really take shape and thrive. That's a really great thing. Everything, everything that I do comes from a lens of social justice and equity, or a lens of equity. Um, and one of the first things that I remember when I was walking through this campus, and I remember being a little bit nervous about coming to a rural university and what that might mean in terms of students who felt accepted or not. And I was walking down downstairs in the Werner Center and past Abby's house in the Stonewall Center and stopped and just, <laughs> I'm like, well, I don't know what you guys feel about this, but thank God. <laughs> and I, that is one of the, probably the turning points for why I decided to come here, was that I knew that this was going to be an inclusive environment um, for both myself and my students. Number four. Across the country, the demographics of the classroom are expanding, and all of this diversity in the classroom can be seen as either a challenge for a teacher but we like to think of it more as an opportunity for teachers. And the ways that we can train our teachers to more effectively meet the needs of this increasingly diverse student body and to meet their individual, not only academic, but also social, uh, intellectual, and spiritual needs of our students is a part of what we do in education. As such, Bilingual education and the preparation of bilingual and bicultural teachers is at the cutting edge too here. Uh, we were honored to have been mentioned uh, during the uh, Obama administration at the White House as a program to watch nationally and uh, that was a big plus for us. Deaf Studies Professional Studies, DSPS, 
offers a variety of different programs where we work and train students to go out into the professional world and, and work in a variety of settings, including with the deaf and hard of hearing community. Our RCD, the Regional Resource Center on Deafness, is one of the programs that falls under DSPS. It aims to look at the community, solicit feedback as to what the needs are. Then, through the grant writing process, it seeks to collaborate with the community in securing the needed resources. We provide a variety of services, including research, advocacy, and collaboration, truly looking at what the community needs. The RRCD is right on the cutting edge in these areas, which is really cool. Number five. It's a pleasure to work and teach inside of our new Richard Woodcock Education Center. The space is comfortable and beautiful and easy to use. I'm excited to come to work every day because of how much fun it is to work in innovative and high-tech classrooms with a variety of capabilities from digital media to being able to record my own lectures for self-reflection. The common spaces in the Richard Woodcock Education Center invite collaboration in all forms. I enjoy connecting with my colleagues as well as meeting with students in casual and comfortable warm settings. I think the moment I came to Oregon, I fell in love and I haven't been able to leave since. So um, I really enjoy Oregon and Western Oregon in the Valley. One of my favorite things to do is to go to soccer games because the bleachers face west. And I think the soccer games start around 3.30. And so if it's a beautiful evening, you are just sitting on these bleachers watching young women try to kill each other on a soccer field, which I love, because it's okay to be aggressive, <laughs> and with the coast range in the background, and I continually am worried that I'm going to just get used to it and not appreciate the beauty of this campus and of where I get to live, and it hasn't happened. This, I'm going in my fifth year <laughs> here. Mm -hmm.